Throughout the centuries, our understanding of human history has significantly expanded. Yet certain eerie findings leave us with more mysteries than explanations. From peculiar cave paintings to phenomena that defy explanation, here are 20 disconcerting discoveries that remain baffling to experts. Number 20. The Temple That Casts No Shadow If you stood with the sun behind you or above you, it's natural that you would cast a shadow. Most things that obstruct light should produce a shadow unless they're transparent or translucent. And yet, the ancient temple of Brihadisvara, located in Tunjavur, casts no shadow. Now that's quite bizarre. This temple, nestled in the heart of India, is a significant location and is one of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. This place, also known as the Big Temple, is a masterpiece of Dravidian architecture dedicated to Lord Shiva. Now, this mysterious thing, or rather not so mysterious anymore, is the fact that this temple casts no shadow. Theoretically, this shouldn't be possible. And for so long, scientists have tried to unravel the mystery. And it seems like recently we've finally discovered the secret. This temple's design and positioning are nothing short of brilliant. The temple's towering vimana or temple tower is over 200 feet high. That's like stacking about 20 elephants on top of each other if you're looking for a visual. The vimana is so perfectly aligned with the sun's position that at certain times of the year, the sun sits directly above the temple, eliminating any shadow it might cast. It might seem natural, but remember, precise calculations were needed to accomplish this. Aside from that, execution and building the temple also required skill. This temple is proof of the advanced understanding of astronomy and mathematics by ancient Indian architects. They didn't have the modern tools we have today, yet they could calculate the precise angles and directions needed to achieve this phenomenon. Number 19. Mysterious Moat in Jerusalem Jerusalem is a place that's significant not only in history but also in the Christian religion. For this reason, discoveries in Jerusalem are usually incredibly important. Just recently, we discovered an Iron Age moat in Jerusalem, and archaeologists believe that it was used for defense thousands of years ago. This ancient structure, unearthed near Jerusalem's old city, is nearly 100 feet wide and about 20 feet deep. We're quite unsure about the exact date when the moat was constructed. However, it was likely built sometime around the 9th century BC, during the Iron Age. While moats are usually used for protection, as I've mentioned earlier, we don't really know why exactly this one was constructed. Whether it's to protect something or solely to become a barrier between borders is yet to be known. Number 18. Fountain of Youth In 2023, astronomers discovered a fountain of youth near the central black hole in our galaxy. However, this fountain of youth isn't what you think it is. This fountain of youth is not a legendary fountain with water that can make anyone remain young forever. Instead, it's a region in the galaxy brimming with newborn stars, something that theoretically shouldn't be possible. You see, the center of the Milky Way is a hostile environment, dominated by the gravitational pull of a black hole four million times the mass of our sun. This intense gravity, along with the turbulent conditions caused by nearby stars and energy emissions, makes it an unlikely nursery for stars. Yet, for some bizarre, unknown reason, Astronomers have observed young stars in this very location, forming against all odds. These stars are relatively young, some only a few million years old, which might seem old, but trust me, that's young in cosmic terms. The discovery of these stars near Sagittarius A is quite puzzling. The intense tidal forces exerted by the black hole's gravity should theoretically shred gas clouds, preventing them from collapsing to form stars. While scientists have several theories, including one suggesting that denser clouds protect stars from being torn apart, we're yet to unravel the truth behind these newly born stars. Number 17. Roman dodecahedrons. 300 years from now, if someone sees a fidget spinner, what would they assume it to be? Do you think they'll figure out its purpose? What about selfie sticks, and what do you think people centuries from now would think about that fad known as planking? If you don't remember, let me give you a little refresher. Planking was a fad that gained traction from early to mid-2010 but slowly dwindled in early 2012. What about the mannequin challenge? These are all examples of activities that, if seen by people centuries from now, might seem weird and pointless. That said, it's inevitable that people from different periods would be confused about each other. Take, for example, this object you're looking at, something called a Roman dodecahedron. It's named for having 12 pentagon faces. At each corner of these pentagons, there's a hole of varying diameters, and their purpose has been the subject of speculation and debate for decades. These dodecahedrons can be found across various European locations, from Hungary to Great Britain, which means these objects were pretty popular in the Roman world. However, we really can't figure out its purpose. A candle holder? A toy? A decoration? The theories are endless. 
It also doesn't help that, despite being popular, these objects never appeared in the written records or books we've discovered today. Experts believe that the most plausible purpose of this object is that it was used as a measuring device, possibly to calculate distances or angles related to astronomy or agriculture. However, we can never really be too sure. Number 16. The Ming Dynasty Taizhou Mummy In 2011, road workers in Jiangsu province were surprised to uncover a tomb dating back over 600 years. Inside, they found the mummy of a high-status woman from the Ming Dynasty, astonishingly preserved down to the intricate details of her clothing and the skin on her face. Despite the great condition of her body, it was still quite unnerving to look at her. The woman, believed to be a high-ranking official's wife, was dressed in traditional Ming Dynasty attire, her body wrapped in silk and cotton. The preservation was so thorough that even her eyebrows and hair were intact. The location of her burial played a role in her preservation, but how she was preserved is still astounding. Researchers believe that the combination of the tomb's dry environment and the properties of the garments and wrapping materials helped to preserve the body. All we know is that she was soaked in an unknown brown liquid. Unlike the mummification done by ancient Egyptians, we remain clueless about how people in ancient China preserved the dead. Number 15. The Labyrinths of Bolshoi Zayatsky Located in Russia, within the Arctic Circle, Solovetsky Islands are the Labyrinths of Bolshoi Zayatsky. These ancient stone labyrinths date back to around 500 BCE to 1000 BCE and are arguably among the most chilling locations on the planet. There are about 14 labyrinths on this small island, along with numerous other stone arrangements, including burial sites and sacred spots. The labyrinths are made from local boulders, carefully arranged in a spiral pattern that leads to a center point. To this day, we're at a loss about its purpose. No one is entirely sure why they were built. One popular theory suggests they had a spiritual or ritualistic function, serving as paths for soul journeys, guiding the spirits of the deceased to the afterlife. Another theory proposes that these labyrinths were used for ritual dances or rites of passage, with the intricate pathway symbolizing a journey through life's complexities. What's more bizarre is the fact that people who made the labyrinth seem to have taken to create these structures in such a remote location. Despite all odds, after all, it was built in a place with incredibly harsh weather, and with primitive tools it was an arduous task. Today, the labyrinths attract visitors from around the globe, and it's still a mystery to archaeologists and historians. Would you dare visit these enigmatic ruins? I know I wouldn't. Number 14. Unexplained Holes If you venture into Pisco Valley, Peru, you'll begin noticing not hundreds, but thousands of holes that have been carved into the rock. This creates a band stretching further than a mile, known as the Band of Holes. From above, these holes look otherworldly, following a seeming deliberate pattern across the rugged terrain. But who made these holes and why? The theories are as varied as they are fascinating. Some suggest that these holes were part of an ancient Incan accounting system. The Incas were known for their sophisticated methods of record-keeping, including the use of quipus, which are knots on strings for counting. Could these holes have served a similar purpose, perhaps marking resources or tracking goods along a trade route? Well, it's a compelling theory, but we can't be sure. Another theory suggests that these holes are granaries. It might be a bit unconventional, but some people claim that these holes were deliberately made and measured because they were meant to store grain, food, or perhaps even water, serving as a communal resource for the people who once thrived in this now arid landscape. The depth and shape of the holes could have been ideal for keeping goods cool and dry, which is crucial in the harsh environment of the Peruvian desert. Despite these theories, conclusive evidence remains elusive. Archaeological digs and surveys have yet to uncover artifacts that definitively explain the hole's purpose. No written records have been found to illuminate their meaning or origin, leaving us to piece together clues from a culture and time that remain largely a mystery. Modern technology, like satellite imagery and drones, has brought us closer than ever to understanding the band of holes, offering detailed maps and views that were impossible just decades ago. Yet, even with these advancements, the holes retain their mystery. Number 13. Gargantuan Crater on the Moon The moon might look like a big, flat, and smooth surface from here on Earth, but did you know there's a gargantuan crater on the lunar surface? And despite astronomers' attempts to explain its origin, we're yet to confirm what exactly created this massive feature. This crater is one of the largest and oldest impact craters in the entire solar system, making it a window into the moon's, and indeed the solar system's, tumultuous past. Spanning about 1,550 miles in diameter and reaching depths of up to 5 miles, this crater, known as the South Polakan Basin, covers a significant portion of the moon's southern hemisphere. To put that into perspective, it's roughly the distance from New York City to Dallas, Texas, 
making it an absolutely gargantuan feature that's hard to comprehend in human terms. This crater is believed to have formed over 4 billion years ago, when a massive asteroid or comet collided with the moon. The impact was so powerful that it likely altered the moon's geological history, punching through the crust and possibly reaching the mantle beneath. By analyzing the basin, scientists can gain insights into the moon's thermal evolution and how its crust has changed over billions of years. Now, just who knows what other secrets lie on the lunar surface, waiting to be discovered. Number 12. Jupiter Blocks Across the shores of Europe, from the United Kingdom to France, and even on the beaches of Japan, mysterious rubber blocks were being found. People had no clue what they were or where they came from. The only thing that could be recognized from the blocks was the distinct marking, Jupiter. Naturally, these blocks became known as the Jupiter Mystery. Behind these blocks became so intense that people began investigating what they were and their origins. It turned out that these blocks are made of gutta percha, a type of rubber derived from the sap of certain trees found in the Malay archipelago. Gutta percha was incredibly valuable during this time for its use in a variety of products, from golf balls to surgical devices, and even the insulation for underwater telegraph cables. Luckily, before conspiracies could further progress, the truth behind these blocks was revealed. It turned out that they weren't anything sinister. Rather, the secret and the mystery lie at the bottom of the ocean. It's believed that these blocks were part of a cargo shipment that went down with a ship, a victim of the treacherous waters. Over the years, as storms raged and currents shifted, these blocks were dislodged from the depths, resulting in them washing up on shores across the globe. Number 11. The Longyu Caves in China. In 1994, four farmers in Longyu drained the water of five small ponds in their village. None of them expected that the drained ponds would reveal what is now known as one of the most astonishing archaeological discoveries in the world. This vast array of caverns, spanning about 320,000 square feet, is known as the Longyu Caves. To date, 24 caves have been discovered, though evidence suggests there might be more waiting to be uncovered. The construction of the Longyu Caves is estimated to have occurred around 2,000 to 3,000 years ago, during the Qin Dynasty, or even earlier. With that being said, the Longyu Caves are astounding. For these caverns to be built, over 1 million cubic meters of rock were removed. Now, imagine doing that without the aid of modern machines. The effort, material, and manpower it took just to complete these caves are immense. But the mystery of this place doesn't end with how it's built. Unlike other ancient constructions, the Longyu Caves do not contain any inscriptions, relics, or indications of their intended use. This has led to a wide range of speculations, from serving as royal tombs or palaces, to being used for mining, storage, or even as a military shelter. However, none of these theories have been definitively proven, leaving the caves shrouded in mystery. Number 10. Déjà vu. As you go about your day, the conversation you're having, and the situation you're in suddenly becomes familiar. It feels like you've had this exact conversation with the same person before, while drinking the same cup of coffee. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has experienced this. This phenomenon is something we know all too well, déjà vu. But did you know that this phenomenon remains unexplained to this day? Yes, you heard that right. The word déjà vu, in French, translates to already seen, and this phenomenon is exactly that. While they've developed some theories, we're still far from fully understanding them. One idea is that this phenomenon occurs when there's a slight delay in the brain's information processing. So, by the time your brain catches up, it feels like you've already experienced the moment. However, whether this really is the explanation or not remains unknown. Number 9. A new layer within the planet. Our planet comprises three major layers, the crust, the mantle, and the Earth's core, consisting mainly of iron and nickel. However, Scientists now believe a mysterious layer might have formed within our planet without our knowledge. Scientists believe that there's a mysterious layer surrounding our planet's core due to leaking water trickling down from the Earth's surface. This reaction resulted in a layer in our planet that does nothing but churn out crystals. Scientists have tried replicating these conditions to see what byproduct it would create. So far, the findings show that this newly formed layer is most likely creating large quantities of silica crystals as a byproduct of water, and the outer core's metallic surface. But what does this finding mean for us? Aside from new scientific understanding, this discovery doesn't have any implications for us, for now at least. Number 8. Angels glow during the American Civil War. In 1862, particularly at the Battle of Shiloh, a bizarre phenomenon occurred. The battle was among the most tragic, and many lives were lost. Despite this fact, more than the expected number of soldiers survived injuries that were supposed to be fatal. Some soldiers noticed their wounds emitting a faint blue light. Astonishingly, 
Those who experienced this glow survived their injuries. This became known to be an angel's glow, with many believing that the wounds were healed thanks to divine intervention. We were at a loss about this mysterious glow until, over a century later, the answer and solution to this mystery came in the most unexpected manner. In 2001, a high school student named Bill Martin, alongside his friend John Curtis, began to unravel this historical puzzle for a science project of all things. With the help of Bill's mom, Phyllis Martin, a microbiologist at the USDA, they discovered the answer behind the notorious angel's glow. It was a bacterium named Photorhabdus luminescens. These organisms live in the guts of parasitic nematodes. These nematodes invade insect larvae, and the bacteria are released into the bodies of these larvae to end their lives, essentially turning the inside of the larvae into a bacteria-friendly buffet. The bacteria then emit a soft blue glow. But why glow, you ask? It's thought that this light might deter predators from eating the infected hosts, thus protecting the bacteria's larval feast. Now, just imagine how many paranormal or supernatural phenomena can actually be explained by science without our knowledge. Number 7. Lady with a Flaming Grail The Lady with a Flaming Grail is among the most ominous figures in history. This enigmatic figure is usually seen in fresco in church apses located in the eastern Pyrenean valleys of Catalonia, Spain. For almost an entire millennium, the identity of this woman remained unknown. Some believed that she was Santa Maria holding a flaming vessel. However, her identity remains to be unconfirmed to this day. Her paintings usually portray her painted on the wall in the church apse, with a gaze that penetrates any onlooker. Her right hand is drawn palm out, as if to command attention. Is she the Virgin Mary, Mary Magdalene, or someone else? And while the grail has always been a significant object in Christianity, why are these grails often drawn engulfed by flames? And is it possible that this woman is connected with the elusive Holy Grail? Unfortunately for us, all we have are questions and the enduring mystery of this lady with a flaming grail. Number 6. 1,000-Year-Old Child Mummies Just last year, in 2023, archaeologists announced quite a chilling discovery in Peru. They uncovered the remains of four children. The well-preserved remains were discovered in a millennium-old archaeological site. Despite the years that passed, the remains of the children still had their hair intact. However, unlike the mummies we've discovered in other civilizations, archaeologists believe that the children's bodies were naturally mummified and preserved thanks to the dry environment in the region. The presence of hair, clothing, and even some burial goods with these mummies can help archaeologists piece together how they lived in the past. The textiles, the style of hair, and the items they were buried with all provide clues to their social status, cultural practices, and the beliefs of the community regarding death and the afterlife. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the isolated canyons of Nevada, archaeologists uncovered a cave with peculiar art etched into its walls. This wasn't the typical depiction of hunts or gods. It was something that unsettled all who laid eyes upon it. The images, carbon dated to be around 3,000 years old, displayed humanoid figures with elongated limbs and oversized heads, standing in a line as if partaking in some ritual. Beside them, a massive disc-shaped object loomed, with lines that suggested a radiant glow. The find sparked wild theories, but none as compelling as Dr. Elena Torres' interpretation. She proposed that these figures represented visitors from beyond our stars, and the message was a grim portent of human existence. According to her translation of the accompanying symbols, these beings had observed humanity's infancy and predicted its end. The disc was not a celestial body, but a vessel, foreshadowing a future when mankind would be forced to leave Earth to survive. The horrifying message, as it was dubbed by the media, became a cultural obsession. It implied a cyclic nature of human existence, where every end was the precursor to another beginning, perhaps on a distant world. Dr. Torres posited that the ancient artists had interacted with these beings and learned of humanity's ephemeral tenure on Earth, inspiring them to leave behind a warning that would endure the ages, that we are not the first, and we will not be the last. Number 5. The Valley of Headless Men Perhaps some of you have already heard about the Valley of Headless Men, or officially the Nahani Valley. This beautiful location, nestled deep within Canada's Northwest Territories, has also earned the title The Final Frontier for being among the least explored places here on Earth. The name of this location comes from the indigenous Dean people, and its chilling title is a result of the macabre story surrounding it. The first widely known tale dates back to the early 20th century, when the McLeod brothers searched for gold in the valley. Oddly enough, the two never returned, and when search parties went looking, they found their bodies decapitated near a river that would later be ominously named the Headless Creek. This incident was just the beginning. Over the years, more adventurers and prospectors went missing, 
but several were found in a similar gruesome state, while others simply vanished. Despite investigations, no one ever discovered what happened to these people. As time passed, theories about the secrets of the Nahani Valley just turned darker and darker. Some point to the harsh and unforgiving landscape itself, with its treacherous cliffs, whitewater rivers, and deep, dark canyons as the cause of these mysterious disappearances and deaths. Others speculate about hostile wildlife or even foul play among the prospectors themselves. However, some believe that the supernatural and the paranormal are to blame for these bizarre disappearances. The indigenous people have long spoken of the valley as a place of power and danger, home to spirits not to be disturbed by mortals. Number 4. The Lycurgus Cup. This might look like an ordinary cup, but it's among the most extraordinary creations left behind by the Romans. You see, this seemingly ordinary cup shows that the Romans, to some extent, understood nanotechnology. This 1,600-year-old goblet was used as tableware, but this object has the astonishing capability of changing color depending on how light is shown upon it. Named after King Lycurgus of Thrace, who is depicted on the cup being ensnared by vines for his misdeeds against Dionysus, the god of wine and ecstasy, this cup is a marvel of ancient Roman glasswork. When light is shown from the front, the cup appears green, but when light hits it from behind, it transforms into a translucent, radiant red. The secret, the glass and material used to create it. The Lycurgus cup is made of dichroic glass, containing tiny particles of gold and silver, ground down to as small as 50 nanometers in diameter, less than one one-thousandth the size of a grain of table salt. This mixture of precious metals is what allows the cup to change color. When light hits these metal particles, they vibrate in ways that alter the color of the light reflected back to our eyes. This phenomenon was a complete mystery until the 20th century when researchers finally put the pieces together. They discovered that the Romans had unwittingly created a form of nanotechnology, manipulating materials at the nano level to achieve effects that are only now being explored with our advanced scientific understanding. Whether the creation of this cup was intentional remains a question to us to this day. Number 3. Aboriginal rock art of the Wangina sky beings. Just take a look at these figures. What do you think they are? This rock art is known as the Wangina sky beings, and just as its title suggests, many believe that it portrays beings from the sky, or in simpler terms, aliens. This rock art is among the most perplexing examples found among the Australian Aboriginal people. The locals of the region believe that these creatures are the supreme spirit beings and creators of the land and people. Portrayed with white faces devoid of a mouth, with large black eyes, and a head surrounded by a halo or a helmet, these figures are nothing short of enigmatic. Some believe they're ancient astronauts or creatures from outer space that visited our planet tens of thousands of years ago. They also could have possibly interacted with the inhabitants of the Kimberley region of northwestern Australia a long time ago. Some believe they have extended their help to the aboriginals, which is why they're given importance and immortalized through rock art. However, some think that, rather than actual beings, the Wangina sky beings are stylized or symbolic representations of mundane or ordinary animals, like owls. We might never learn the secrets of these figures, but the aboriginal tribes in the region continue to paint them. And if you're thinking about using these figures for your own art, be warned. The aboriginals believe that only those who revere the sky beings are permitted to paint them. If someone breaks the sacred law, they would be punished by disasters from floods, lightning, and cyclones. Those who try to disrespect these paintings will also allegedly suffer from a curse. Now, why would ancient aboriginal people weave such extreme myths and stories for these beings? What's their significance? Is there a chance that their existence is inspired by real beings? Well, we might never know. Number 2. A Mirror and an Inscription In 2017, researchers discovered a remarkably well-preserved 1,900-year-old bronze mirror in Fukuoka, Japan. Strangely enough, it was an artifact that originated from China, rather than in Japan. This artifact is believed to have been made during the later Han Dynasty, somewhere between 25 and 220 AD. This period is known as the Golden Age of China. What made this mirror particularly interesting is the inscription on its surface, which is seemingly turning into reality. The patterns engraved on this artifact read, Chong Yi Zisen, which means, to benefit future generations forever. This is a bizarre and unexpected inscription, considering artifacts usually contain ominous texts. For archaeologists, this inscription is very much true, as researchers believe the artifact can help identify and date other artifacts from a largely unknown period of Japan and China. Today, this enigmatic mirror is stored at the Fukuoka City Museum for people to see. Number 1. The Aluminum Wedge of AUID In 1974, archaeologists near the town of Ayad, Romania, discovered something quite bizarre. 
an aluminum tool found six feet deep in the earth alongside two mastodon bones. Now, we all know that mastodons went extinct thousands of years ago, so how could this aluminum tool be in a layer of the earth where an extinct creature is, when, according to human history, aluminum is a metal that humans have only been able to produce in significant quantities since the 19th century? This discovery marked the beginning of the mystery of the aluminum wedge. Given the knowledge that aluminum corrodes quickly and less alloyed with other metals, the condition and composition of the wedge seemed at odds with the time period it was supposedly from. There are several theories, but none of them hold water, from being a part of an ancient advanced civilization's technology or an alien spacecraft to being a tool left behind by a time traveler. Most of these don't really seem plausible. However, scientists believe there's a logical reason behind this out-of-place artifact. Research and analysis suggest that the wedge might actually be a piece of more modern machinery that somehow ended up buried with much older materials. One plausible theory is that it's part of a World War II aircraft, which could explain the aluminum composition and the advanced manufacturing techniques evident in its creation. How did it end up buried with skeletons from an old time period? Unfortunately, we might never really know. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.